Hello everyone, my name is Otrupa and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install a custom YouTube loading screen into your guys' 5M server in 2023 and for free. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below and that will bring you guys right here to the Ziv loading screen mod on GitHub. And the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go to code and then download zip. And once the zip has downloaded, if you don't have a zip opener like WinRAR or WinZip or 7-Zip, then make sure you guys install one first. Otherwise, it'll probably try and install like a blank page. And obviously that will not work because it actually is files inside of this. Once you guys have done that, you can minimize the desktop. And now we can find our 5M server like usual. So go to the documents or wherever you put your 5M server. Find your 5M server. Go to TX data, CFX default and resources. And now all we're going to do for this one, since we are not going to be installing any secondary loading screens, is you know, you're only usually going to have one. There's no need to create a subfolder. So all we're going to do is rename this from master and then a hyphen to just ziv hyphen loading screen and then drag and drop that into your guys' resources folder. Now go inside of here and open up your index.html. You can close the download now if you want. And we're going to be changing our source, which is going to be our YouTube video link. Now, if you go onto YouTube or hit the link down in the description below, that's going to bring you guys right here to a GTA 5 5M loading screen by Divinity Films. These are all free to use in your 5M server, so be sure to subscribe to the Divinity Films if you guys haven't already. It provides a bunch of great free 5M loading screens. If you guys don't want to use this one, literally just search 5M loading screens, and I'm sure you can find a plenty of other free 5M loading screens that you guys can use in your server. Obviously, just make sure you guys have the rights to actually use it. But you guys can see here that they are absolutely free. So all you guys are going to do is click into your URL bar and double click on the content ID at the end of the YouTube URL. It's just going to be after the equal sign and then control C it. Go back to your index.html and double click here, which is going to be before the slash, no, sorry, after the slash of the embed and before the exclamation mark before the autoplay. Control V and replace the content ID. Now we're done in index.html. We can hit file and save and close our index.html. And now there's one last thing to do. We're gonna open up our config.js. So we're gonna do that with our Visual Studio code. You can also open it up with Notepad++ or Notepad, either one works. And now we can change our server name and our server link. It's a pretty interesting default server link. So we're gonna delete that. And you guys can put in whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it blank for now. And I'm probably going to leave my server name blank. And I sort of recommend leaving these blank because they don't actually work very well. It kind of just puts text over the video and it doesn't look the best. So just leave them blank. Hit file. And then save. And then close your config.js. Now go back to your resources and edit the name of the ziv loading screen. Control C it. Don't change it at all. Control C the loading screen name of the resource. Go back to your CFX default folder, open up your server.cfg, go down to the last entry point for your resources, press enter, start a new line, double hashtags, and then loading screen. That is going to be the subname for our resources. So we know that anything below here is going to be to do with our loading screen. There is only going to be one, but it's good practice. So we ensure, and then control V in the name of our resource making sure it is the exact same name. Even capital letters will stop it from working. So make sure it is the exact same. Hit file, then save and close. And now we can start up our 5M server and you should be able to see that a loading screen is now in your game. Once you guys start your 5M server up, you should be able to see once it starts connecting that we now have the video that we copy and pasted into our index.html as our loading screen with the music as well. You can obviously mute the audio if you guys want to just by going over here and to muting the audio. But other than that, I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what video you guys want to see next. It could be a tutorial or maybe just a 5PD or LSPDFR episode. Let me know down in the comment section below and also check out the channel sponsor, Zap Posting, and use code Highway Trooper. No capitals or spaces for 20% off your next product with them. That is Minecraft servers all the way to 5M servers. Really, really great, really cheap, and really reliable. So check them out down in the description below. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.